guilty. Okay. Uh, Adam Scott Bellos, the Al Qassam Brigade has said that we are bombing Tel Aviv only in response to the Zionist massacres that have taken place against civilians, where 7,000 people, including 3,000 children, have died. You stop, they stop. Can you, can you hear me? Is my microphone working? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, just checking. Uh, to say that firing on Tel Aviv is a response to any type of massacre perpetrated by Israel to the Gaza Strip is absolute complete hypocrisy, and it's turning the truth and the reality of the present day on its head. Okay? We know for a fact that 1,500 people were killed and murdered in the streets of Israel. Homes were broken into. Whole families were held hostage at once and executed. Okay? Fathers were blown to bits on top of their own children. And you're going to sit here and tell me that we know for a fact that Hamas has been blocking the path for Palestinians to exit the Rafah border, okay, the, the southern border. You're going to tell me that we now know that it was not Israel that hit a hospital. It was Palestinian Islamic Jihad. You're going to tell me that anything that we are doing is any type of a massacre is a complete lie and total hypocrisy. There is only one actor, political actor right now, that is committing multiple, triple, quadruple war crimes, creating a premeditated crime against humanity, which can be seen now not only against the Jewish people and the state of Israel, but also the Palestinian people of Gaza. It is absolutely ridiculous, and I cannot even believe the other gentleman on the screen could be spewing the normal talking points of Palestinian propaganda of the last 20 years, when clearly his own people are being annihilated, almost genocidally, by their own radical Islamic leaders. It is absolute hypocrisy. Hmm. It is absolute immoral to not come right out and completely say, this is, this, this is about the context of the last 100-year conflict. But we created the experiment for Gazan and Palestinian independence when we withdrew from the Gaza Strip, leaving them an economy and a viable, possible state. Mr. There's Sharif, nothing more to say. Mr. Sharif, if they stop, if Israel is guilted into a ceasefire right now, don't you think they will be hurtling towards annihilation? Because the Hamas rockets will certainly not stop. Look, I'm not a spokesperson for Hamas. I'm not defending Hamas. I'm just highlighting the fact that this is a 100-year-old conflict, hmm. that it did not start on the 7th of October. And it's important to what look at the larger picture. The picture is that Israel is an, an occupying power. And let me tell you this. Ask legal experts, there is doubt about Israel's self-defense wow, when it is an occupying power. And again, look at the West Bank. Israel has been there for the last 70, for the last 56 years as an occupying power, violating international law. Palestinians have the right to resist the occupation. I'm not defending Hamas. This is something that Israel has created. Benjamin Netanyahu is the one who enabled Hamas. Is October 7 resistance in your book? Sorry? Because that's what Turkey called it. Turkey at the UN said that they are not a terrorist organization, they are resistance. In your book, what happened in October 7, is this resistance or is it a terror attack? Because the, the response will have to be commensurate. Well, again, we, we, we look at the thing in the larger context. context. Israel has been committing massacres against the Palestinians for the last 70 odd years. OK, what do you call that? Oh Is that self-defense? I'm not defending Hamas. I'm not defending what happened on the 7th of October. I'm against you the killing of civilians on both it. sides. But look, 1,500 Israelis were killed on, uh, that's what Israel is saying. 1,500 Israelis were kill, killed on one that's side. That's what we're saying? When, and as we speak, more than 7,000 civilians in Gaza have been killed, including 3,000 children, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, Destruction. Okay. At, you know how oh many journalists. Let me just okay. Say this. I think you know I many, think both you know both Mr. Simon you know and Shahar Azani want to respond to you. Then I really must years. go across just to Miss Arkub after that. Nadav Steinman first. Killed more than thirty journalists in the last twenty days. Okay.
Okay. I just like to respond quickly. I just want to say shame on you for defending a, a barbaric organization like Hamas. Shame on you because the only picture I have in my mind of a, is of a 14-year-old teenage girl who is lying on her stomach. Her legs were spread and semen was all over her back and she was shot in the back of the head. Shame on you for repeating the same old, same old political shenanigans after the horrible massacre that was filmed on Hamas's GoPro cameras, the atrocities against innocent civilians humanity versus barbarism this is not just another political issue with all due respect where is your heart where is your compassion where is your humanity i don't believe any of the number hamas is uh, is giving from gaza just like i wouldn't believe anything isis would say but shame on you for not standing on the side of humanity because anybody who supports the beheading of babies might see this on their own doorstep i think it's fair that mr sharif gets to reply because this is directed at him yes well, uh, again, allegations, 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 allegations. Israeli That's defense, that was, that was, Israeli that defense that was, army you know, did not confirm the beheading is. of the twenty of the forty Israeli babies. The White House retracted Biden's statement on the uh, beheading of forty babies. No, they, the yeah. Israeli journalist who no, reported they, that, oh my God, said this is that so I heard it from a soldier. CNN retracted that story. You want pictures? You want pictures? You want pictures? Go to Al Jazeera and watch live on TV the oh mutilated bodies of babies. 